And while billings were up 14% in April, proving that crime does pay, at least for the firm of Truman, Belzer, and Truman, <laughs> there's always room for improvement, which is why I would like you to meet someone you may have seen lurking about last week. Paul Davis, CPA extraordinaire. I brought him aboard as a consultant to make an efficiency study of the firm so that we can all profit from his findings. <laughs> Paul? Thank you, Mr. Truman. Gentlemen, and Ms. Summers. While I've only had the opportunity to take a cursory glance at the firm's finances, I believe, as Mr. Truman suggested, you can all do better. I realize as criminal defense attorneys, your focus is not on accounting paperwork, but it is that paperwork, your client billing sheet specifically, which generate the funds which support the lifestyles you would all like to maintain. Therefore, this is what it's all about. Time, gentlemen, and Miss Summers. Time. With bling like that, I should think so. Ah, yes, my Rolex Perpetual. A small token of esteem from the last firm I was able to assist. No pressure, but do take note. Avoid dark alleys. <laughs> Very amusing. It is fully insured, Lloyds of London. $31,000 plus tax. Well, I believe I've made my point. Thank you, Paul. I'm sure we'll all give you our fullest cooperation. Now back to defending the innocent counselors. I think we have one more item on the agenda. Oh yeah, it's totally slipped my mind. A year ago, we decided to add a new attorney to our little family, trying to put a little diversity into our gentlemen's club. Julia? As a small token of our appreciation for your dedication, diligence, work ethic, and for getting some very nasty people off the hook. I don't know what to say. Open it. Beautiful. To our new partner? Love the guys? Partner? <laughs> ever happened to me. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes, Davis on two. Thanks. Hello? Ms. Summers? Please call me Julia. Would you mind stopping by sometime today? I'm working out of the library. You know, Paul, I'm really busy with this brief. I don't know if today's very good. I can assure you it is of the utmost importance. Is there a problem? Perhaps. I'm sure you can explain. I should be done here around 8. 8 will be fine. Nancy, cancel that horrid salad. No lunch at the desk today. I am treating myself and leaving the sweatshop for an hour. Big step. Partner going to your head? Funny. Very funny. Anchor hours for the new partner. With this brief, right. I'll be lucky if I'm done by two. I'll email you in the morning. Come in. Ah, Miss Summers, sit down. It's been a long day, Paul. I hope we can make this quick. Then I'll get right to the point. In auditing expense reports, one of yours sent up the proverbial red flag. I don't understand. Back up. For March, you provided backup for $737 of expenses, but no backup for expenses totaling $354. I'm the world's worst bookkeeper. And my math really sucks. Boy, I'm really embarrassed about the errors. Just take off the uh, 300 and... 
54. Take that off and I'll just triple check everything next time. It's good to know the firm has somebody watching the nickels and dimes. Nickels and dimes? Excuse me? Of the $737 with backup, 15 of the 23 receipts appear to have been tampered with, altered. And just what are you implying, Mr. Davis? Based on the March reports, I decided to check your previous ones. I've made photocopies of all of them. It appears, Ms. Summers, that in the one year that you've worked for Truman, Belzer, and Truman, you may have embezzled well over $20,000. <laughs> Are you mad? This is outrageous. You're accusing me of a felony? I said may have. I'd be glad to give you the benefit of the doubt if you can explain some of these discrepancies. Well, I hope you haven't shared any of these lunatic fantasies of yours with anyone else. Knowing how fond Mr. Truman is of you and your abilities, I was hoping to get an explanation for this. Well, I guess there's not much more I can say. Seems I've been caught with my hand in the cookie jar. So it seems. Do you know how hard it's been for me to get here? It wasn't just my mind that they were interested in. It was my image, my looks. Fifty men were qualified, if not more qualified than me, considered for this job. And I got it. Why? Because the firm wanted a woman for their image. Do you know what it costs to keep up to that image? The condo, the car, the clothes. Jesus, highlighting my hair alone cost me $500 a month. It's very expensive being a legal Barbie doll. And with the salary that they were paying me, I couldn't make it. So I borrowed against future income. I fully intend to pay everything back. And now that I'm a partner. Really? What is that supposed to mean? The judge in that check kiting scheme was most lenient, reducing the charges to a misdemeanor and giving you probation. A little item you chose to leave off your resume. Thorough, aren't we? Well, what do you intend to do? The only thing I can do. But you'll ruin my career. My life. No, Miss Summers. You did that. Isn't there something else that we can uh, work out here? What precisely do you have in mind? Armani, $1,500 plus tax. This, $450. You like these shoes, Paul? Bet you do. Surely you're not trying to justify your actions. Can't do the job without the right equipment. Oh, and the waxing. Cost me a fortune. Go ahead, touch. Not just my legs, Paul. Like I said, can't do the job without the right equipment.